everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. Tamara. Tamara. I blur my name together and people think my name is Tamar. Today I am watching the original, 1968, Planet of the Apes. I do know the ending of this film already because I parodied it. Parodied it. it, it parodied it. I'm sure it's been ruined in other places as well, but you know, nothing really ruins an ending to a film than acting it out. God damn you! I said, what did I think of the original Planet of the Apes? Give me those predictions for the next hour. Hashtag Tamara's Never Seen with a gif. Uh, it's very sensual. I am not sure if I'm very excited about this one, uh, but I'm something. Let's do it. <laughs> Charlton Heston, is that his name? Charlton? Carlton? Charlton? I don't know how to say his name, but uh, he is, he has a lot, lot going on. Also, no background music ever. <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> There's a giant gunfight scene at the end between like the good guys and the bad guys, and, and, and there's no music. It's just every once in a while, but choo! which is the gun noise that they use. I will say, the, though, a lot of the stuff doesn't hold up well. Like the, the prosthetics, like the, the masks that they wear, look ridiculous. Every time I saw the apes, I couldn't stop thinking of that horse mask. You know that horse mask? That horse mask. But the story is pretty damn cool. I didn't really, I guess, grasp or get why the ending that, that he's on Earth was such a big deal, and, and I really like how they set it up. I wish that the only female character, <laughs> like, starting off the mission just didn't die immediately. Though I am glad that she did pass away, rest in peace, girlfriend, because those guys were really, 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 really sex hungry. They were gonna repopulate the Earth with three guys and one girl? What in the actual crap is that? What in the actual crap is that? There's that amazing quote. Oh girl, I'm gonna find it. Tell me though, does man, that marvel of the universe, that glorious paradox who sent me to the stars, still make war against his brother? Keep his neighbor's children starving? and then he goes to sleep for 2,000 years. I don't know about in 2673, but in 2017, yeah, son, they do. They land on Earth again, which they don't know is Earth, but it's immediately terrifying. They're sinking in their spaceship. The woman, the one lady that they brought along, you know, to pass around, <laughs> was like super aged, and that was not what I would expect someone to look like after they've been dead and like aged. Like that doesn't, it didn't really look like what would have happened to her, but it looked cool, I guess. <laughs> I said, holy shit, old movies are weird. One of the guys puts in a USA flag into the rocks and Charleston Heston starts laughing at him. I guess because he, he's claiming the land for, for them, even though they're in this dire situation. It's, it's a little, it's an odd choice, but the laugh is so weird. He's like this evil laugh and it pans up. I don't want to move the camera or the framing right now, so I'll just move down and you get the picture. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's just the laughing girl from the Sorcerer's Apprentice review. Okay, anyways, keep going. <laughs> then there's like a two minute scene of them just running down this rock mountain. I don't imagine that that was written in the script. I think that they were on location and they were like, Oh, this is gonna be really difficult to run down this rock mountain. Maybe we'll just film it and add it in. Two minutes. I don't think there was music behind it either. It's a really unsettling, weird, silent running down a rock mountain. So they stumble upon a bunch of fit, mute, caveman humans in a bunch of ratty brown wigs, like identical wigs for every human actor. Blessed are the vegetarians. So the apes show up looking fake as ever. None of the humans can speak now. You all know this. I don't need to refresh your memories on this movie. He can't speak right now, so they think he's just another Neanderthal human. And he's captured. He makes a girlfriend out of the prettiest Neanderthal because, you know, of course, when one beautiful woman dies, another enters your life. That's the saying, right? The two men that he was with and exploring, one gets killed off in like this attack of the apes, and then another is found later, he's trying to escape, 
he stumbles into this human museum that they have, which reminded me a lot of Wax Museum, which I think Paris Hilton was in, so that's the kind of quality movies that I saw before I started this whole series. He's running around and he stumbles across this one human figure in the museum and it's the other friend! And that is horrifying and that is creepy and I liked that a lot. Good for you. So he's trying to escape and everyone starts throwing water balloons at him? Were they supposed to be rocks? Why does everyone have water balloons? Also not, you know, knocking it. Sounds like a blast. I would like to live in that world. Sign me up. But just very odd, wanted to point that out. And he's like, it's a madhouse. A madhouse! <laughs> it's amazing! There's a lot of net usage. It's like their only line of like capturing someone is just throw a net on them. Like a hundred times at least an ape throws a net in this film. So much net usage. So the other guy wasn't killed off, I guess, I lied. He sees him from across the way and he's like, Landon, Landon, speak so that they know I'm not the only one. And uh, he turns around, Landon, and they've cut his like brain out. Because the lead ape does know that humans were intelligent at one point and it's just pretty rude. Monkey kisses are hilarious. Okay, another really weird moment is at the very end, Taylor and his beautiful, unwilling bride, Nova, I'm, she's, oh, she's willing, I keep saying that, but whatever, she just can't speak, so we'll never know. They're about to leave, and Taylor looks at the doctor ape and is like, I would like to kiss you goodbye, doctor. What? Her fiance is right there, and also your new love interest is right, like, what? They, uh, they, they kiss, and it's just so weird, and this is clearly an older movie that would never, like, fly today. Just different times, man. Different times, different rhymes, different crimes. You know what I'm saying? So, the ending was spoiled for me long ago, like I said, but it did, it seemed so obvious to me. I wonder how many people that really, like, zinged, like, really got. Nash just replied, monkey. Is this a NASA mission or Pornhub? <laughs> Damn, some hot takes. That's, oh God, that's real, yeah. Oh, no. You'll understand the hate for the Tim Burton remake. I've not seen the Tim Burton remake, nor did I know that there was hate for it. Should I see it? Is that something that I need to see in my lifetime? I imagine no, but <laughs> let me know what you think. You will prefer bearded Charlton Heston to clean shaven Charlton Heston. Am I saying his name wrong? Is it Charlton or is it Carlton? Help. But yes, you will be saying to yourself, Jesus, how did this get a G rating? How did this get a G rating? Is it really G? What the hell? I've got it on my screen here. What in the actual hell is this? The prosthetics will make you appreciate your working facial muscles. Oh, thank God. Oh, yes, yes. I predict a lot of Tamara staring at the sky and shaking her fist in very Heston-y ways. Notice how I cut out the background music? Why would you cut out the background music? I mean, I just, I honestly, I don't think I'll ever top this performance. Critic, what will she find? Her destiny. No! Finally really did it! You maniacs! You fucked it up! God damn you! Damn you all the hell! Nova, please, just stay with me, Nova. Use your words, Nova. You will hate every ape you see, from chimpanzee to chimpanzee. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Next week, hopefully, I'm gonna be pairing up with Malcolm Ray to do a Tamara's Never Seen episode on Doug's favorite film, Brazil. If that doesn't happen, it'll be happening in the next few weeks. This morning, I uploaded a hair flip compilation video on my personal channel, so check that out if you have any interest in flips. And I will see you all next week. Bye! It's a madhouse. A madhouse!